Hello there, this is Captain Obvious and welcome to Buses vs Trams of when and how to use them. Buses and trams are best used within half a tile or less. So for example, this is one tile, this square area here, and in this area we are currently using trams. However, why not buses? So first of all, a bus has a capacity of 30 passengers while a tram has a capacity of 90 passengers. Now the right way to measure if you should be using a bus or a tram is by the density zoning within that area. So if you have a lot of high density, residential and or commercial combined with a large area, then you should be using trams. And if the area are mostly low density, then it would be okay to use buses. So in this instance, let's check the zoning. We have a lot of high density residential here and also have a lot of high density resi uh, residential there. And it actually goes in a loop in that way. So therefore we are using trams. By practice, it is much safer to use trams but your city would start to become boring if you were just using trams majority of the time. So you want some variety by efficiently adding in buses. When I say efficiently, I mean you don't want hundreds to thousands of people waiting at a bus stop with each bus having just a 30 passenger capacity or have five or more buses waiting in queue to pick up passengers those are the two worst things ever for buses or trams let's look at the zone types in this new district area that we made here it is mostly low density with some high density therefore we will be utilizing a bus line to help move our people around this area to help reduce traffic as much as possible use the four lane bus roads and to make this more fun we are going to be using the trolley buses from the Sunset Harbor DLC which also has a capacity of 30 passengers just like a regular bus. We will first of course add in our trolley bus depot away from any nearby residential area because the bus depot has a lot of noise pollution which our residents don't much appreciate. Then we will be adding in a bus route loop and in this example we will be using just one route because it is sharing a one four lane road with a bridge. At most cases you'd want a you'd want two loops going in opposite directions while a single loop makes things much more difficult but we will manage. Here we will be observing the number of passengers waiting at the bus stations and we will be gradually adding in more buses until about more or less 50 people are waiting at the bus station. In the same time, while we gradually add in more buses, we will make sure that there isn't a long line of buses queuing in a stop. And there we have it. We have an efficient bus line with a reasonable number of passengers waiting at stops and a reasonable number of queued buses. But first, we will define what is a reasonable number of passengers which applies for all transportation types. So for our bus line, be aware that there is a maximum passenger capacity of 30. So let's observe this so we have some buses that are completely full while there are some which is nearly empty which is completely fine it is possible that the people got off and it is empty and now it's just being filled in in the following stop so this is completely fine and the next thing you want to do is compare to the number of people waiting at stops so in this instance so we're scrolling and we find that there's 43 around 40 plus people waiting, which is completely fine. They, they The remaining people that get on, which is the maximum of 30, some of them would have to wait for the next bus, which is, which is fine. They just need to wait for the next one. As long as there isn't like 100 to 1,000 people waiting and the maximum capacity is only 30, you know that's wrong. You don't wanna be waiting 
like for 10 buses for you to get to your next station and what happened here our train line collapsed that is insane all right let's look at that this is the first time i've seen this during my tutorial and suddenly this happened and look at all the trains waiting okay all right it's gonna get repaired hopefully soon enough i think they're looking for survivors and there we are okay everybody's happy game on all right so moving on now let's define the huge number of buses so looking at this there is maybe just about two buses there you go two buses waiting which is fine right that is a reasonable number of queued buses you don't want like 10 10 more or five two is good right so you don't want too many of that and the next thing we'll have to do is let's actually check the area right so again this is one tile and the area we're doing is right up here so that is half a tile so that is exactly the type of area where you want to be using a tram or a bus line any anything bigger uh, you should consider other modes of transportation uh, a tram could also occupy or uh, accommodate a, an entire tile but if it's going to a succeeding tile or another or tiles away then you should consider using a train such as this a monorail or a metro line now let's check the traffic of this area just look at how green the roads are we have barely any cars going about instead our sims are either walking for exercise or taking the bus while our overall traffic flow is at 92 percent with a 76 k population and of course our traffic flow is the result of transportation planning because the more transportation options you provide for your sims the less likely they would opt to drive and cause traffic now let's take a peek at one of our tram lines and the traffic flow in this area is also quite green and let's take a look at the number of passengers per station that is a reasonable amount they would just have to wait for the next tram so this is acceptable if anything i could just add one more but it may not be necessary there you go see that is not terrible in uh in any way now the big difference here is we only have eight vehicles compared to the 30 buses that we are using over here so but you have to take into account that this is a two two-way loop that goes in the opposite direction simply because it can go in a perfect loop while this side it shares one road because of this bridge right so i only have one one loop here so the 30 buses may sound alarming may seem like a lot but we've already checked that there are no queued buses or a maximum of two only waiting per station so yeah don't worry about the number of buses as long as they are not queued terribly so this area is acceptable so is this and i can pretty much be sure that all the other stations that we have here are also efficient in terms of where to have your tram or bus routes you would want to make it loop around the district area that would lead to the train metro or monorail station so for this instance we have an elevated metro line right here and we have a tram route that goes here and they could easily walk to that station in order to go to a next tile or for this case they would go here and again there is another loop of a tram line if they went up here that's the same thing here and it repeats all throughout the city and that is how you have your traffic flow at above 90 percent and let's see so but let's look at this area this is this area is peculiar because it's actually a little smaller compared to this and yet we are using a tram line so why didn't we use a bus line so again 
I mentioned that you have to take into consideration the density of the area. So this is mostly high density residential, while the one that we had here is mostly low density. This is why a bus route is acceptable here, but not here. In fact, let us check the number of people waiting at a stop. And first let's check if it's full. Actually, this is this seems uh, there you go around 70 that's close to full so this is acceptable and we only have six vehicles so yes this area is definitely good overall trams are still the safer choice and a much more friendly I mean user friendly as you're within district or half a towel area mode of transportation nevertheless it is still nice to have some variety by adding in a bus line every now and then within your city. And by the way, the city that I'm using for this tutorial is part of my Let's Play series Organic Road Layout that is 100% vanilla with no mods or steam assets. So whatever you see here is completely doable in PS4 or Xbox. So if you want to see how we started the city to its current state, feel free to browse my YouTube playlist and I also have other tutorial game guides or design videos that may interest you in City Skylines. This is Captain Obvious, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.